What's up family, Trail here, and today we need to talk about the hunger cliff that we are about to experience. Yes, we are talking about the reduction in food SNAP benefits that was recently cut from millions of Americans in which last month was the final month for states to issue the emergency allotments for the SNAP benefits. But the good news is for some people, benefits will still be paid out for some this month of March. That's for some specific states, not all states. And then we also have some good information that certain states are trying to do something about it and offer their own local program to help out its local citizens. I've got the details to share with you today, but before we go any further, you already know what to do. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Let's start this video off with giving you the remaining states that still need to pay their benefits this month of March. Remember, the USDA has made it very clear that no state can issue emergency allotments after the end of February, which was yesterday, guys. Happy March the 1st. But yes, no one can give out benefits unless they are already distributing their benefits one month behind. But anyway, so far, here are the states for the March benefits. Alabama, March the 1st. California, March the 25th. Hawaii, March the 13th. Kansas, March the 22nd through the 31st. Massachusetts, March the 2nd. Minnesota, March the 14th through the 31st. New Hampshire, March the 17th. Nevada, March the 14th. North Carolina, February the 22nd through March the 3rd. Ohio, February the 27th. However, it has been delayed, so it's going to be coming sometime this month. I'll tell you about it in just a moment. Pennsylvania, February the 15th through March the 1st. Vermont, March the 14th. West Virginia, the final run is going to be on March the 8th. And those are the official last states that will be paying out emergency allotments. Now, if you notice, I did include Ohio, and that is because we received word that they were having some issues. So their expected February the 27th payment was going to be delayed. So far, we don't have any information when that is going to be fixed, but they was actually having an issue with their vendor that distributes the actual SNAP benefits. So anyways, guys, Ohio, you should be receiving it sometime very soon, and hopefully we will receive an update on that information very soon as well. I will keep you guys posted. But anyways, now that the extra food stamps has been cut out of our lives, what does the future hold for those Americans that rely on the food stamps program and the extra emergency allotments? Well, we don't know as of yet, but what we do know is that they are expecting a hunger cliff to occur. Yes, guys, as the SNAP emergency allotment benefits comes to an end, local food banks are preparing for what they are calling a hunger cliff. Yes, guys, more than 1.6 million households across New York State will lose the Supplemental Nutritious Assistance Program, or better known as the SNAP Program, emergency allotments at the end of February, which was yesterday, guys. Happy March the 1st. But anyways, yes, the SNAP benefits ended at the end of February, and that provided extra money for food since the start of the COVID pandemic back in 2020. And every SNAP household will see at least $95 or more per month but some will see reductions of at least $250 a month or more, according to the Nonpartisan uh, Research Group and Policy Institute Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. Now, the average person will receive about $90 per month or less in SNAP benefits. According to the Food Research and Action Center, older adults will be the hardest hit by these SNAP benefit cuts for the emergency allotments. And with seniors who qualify for only the minimum SNAP benefits are seeing their benefits slashed from $281 to a mere $23 per month, which this is going to put us into a crisis. Yes, food insecurity is spiking. You guys already know with the high inflation right now. And we've been calling it a hunger cliff, according to the CEO or the vice president of the Community Impact for Food Bank of the Southern Tier. So SNAP benefits were not adequate before the pandemic, according to the information. And however, the Families First Coronavirus Act, which was signed back in March of 2020, helped combat at food insecurity levels with additional benefits for households receiving SNAP benefits. And yes, guys, those households are no longer going to be able to receive these, as well as some individuals are actually having their SNAP benefits pretty much cut by 80%. 
That is completely insane, guys. Going from $281 down to $23 per month. I mean, what kind of groceries can you buy for $23? And that is a month. We are talking about, I mean, if you buy milk, bread and sandwich meat i mean you're spending 23 dollars in just one week let alone for the entire month this is crazy the government the united states has to do something to improve the snap benefits program as well as our social security program as well all of these need to have a reform right now, which we already are working on the Social Security reform, but they need to go ahead and include something in regards to the SNAP benefits program as well, because $23 alone for an entire month is not enough to feed just one person. It is insane, guys, and we just received an increase because of the high inflation, which prices have pretty much surged between 30 and 40%, which means that you can't even afford anything for an entire week on $23. But anyways, guys, I don't wanna harp on that, but we are needing to talk about this hunger cliff because we are seeing multiple sites at like The Hill talking about it, as well as Axios in Seattle talking about it. And guys, this is crazy. We are going to be experiencing this hunger cliff and guys, experts are fearing this from happening. And yes, guys, it talks about it right here that the extra food benefits that were put into place during the pandemic are coming to an end nationwide right now. And we are expected to enter into a time where more than half of 5,000 respondents surveyed between December and last month used at least one type of food assistance the previous month. And food insecurities was higher in households made up of people of color, families with children and among renters, guys, this is going to affect millions of Americans. But anyways, like I said, according to the KING news station, they are saying that, look, we actually see the end of February to be something like a hunger cliff. It's impossible to think that food banks can fill the $95 million a month gap that SNAP households are about to experience. And yes, guys, we are getting information right now that the food banks are worried about this because they are not going to be able to receive enough food to give out to the local citizens as well. And like this particular statement says that because of the emergency allotments that that was pretty much giving out around $95 million per month. Who is going to replace that now that the emergency allotments is no longer happening? And that is where we are going to be experiencing what they are calling a hunger cliff. A, this is going to be hunger food insecurities across every single state out there. And yes, guys, state legislators currently are considering several bills that could assist residents with food affordability, including one that would provide free school meals to more students than they have been before. But often said that teams hope that their research will inform lawmakers as they think about how to address food insecurities and hunger across many states. So anyways, guys, yes, guys, this is just the latest information in regards to our SNAP recipients or our EBT recipients and what they are going to be experiencing now that this particular additional $95 per month is actually gone away. Even though some states are still going to be receiving those benefits this month of March, uh, pretty much, guys, the plan is over. The emergency allotments is over. The additional $95 is over. And now we are facing a huge hunger crisis in this country, which means that people are going to be going without food on their table because food banks are not going to be able to get enough food to supply to the many people, the millions of people that are needing this food every single month. But anyways, guys, the good news is that I have for you today is that states are now striving to try to help SNAP recipients cope with the lower benefits. Yes, guys, it says that the white words on a red background are plain important notice. Snap emergency allotments are ending after February. And yes, guys, because this is ending, people are scared, they're anxious. This is a devastating change for millions of Americans, according to the Director of Food and Energy Assistance Division in Colorado. And yes, they put out a statement and say, look, we wanna make sure that nobody is caught off guard 
once March gets here. And yes, guys, Colorado has a new toll-free SNAP phone line and its SNAP website, which includes tips for transitions uh, to this new era in which Americans are no longer going to be receiving this additional benefit. So that is going to be helpful if you live in the state of Colorado. But don't forget, guys, also check out your local states as well because they are going to be offering additional information as well. And also, you can probably get new information in regards to the new programs that various states are trying to introduce because of the no longer providing the emergency allotments. And we are seeing that uh, states like Washington, yes, guys, they are warning individuals about the food crisis as the federal SNAP funding comes to an end. And yes, guys, like I said, just alone in Washington, the emergency allotments that was supplying more than 520,000 households have been receiving through SNAP benefits will end as of now. So again, guys, Washington is working on a new food assistance program that they are trying to introduce. And this is going to be within the House Bill 1784, in which Washington legislature is aimed at alleviating the impacts of that federal funding is going away for our SNAP recipients, which is why they are trying to introduce something new for our SNAP recipients to provide them with the additional money or additional food that is going to help them get through these economic times. And then we also see for the uh, state of New Jersey, uh, Governor Phil Murphy signs a bill to increase the minimum SNAP benefits for New Jersey residents. Yes, Governor Phil Murphy signed a bill to ensure that every SNAP household in New Jersey will receive at least $95 per month in monthly benefits going forward now that the emergency allotments has been ended. And households throughout the country are set to receive as low as $23 per month in SNAP benefits. But anyways, guys, the federal government continues to fail us in providing emergency allotments. Uh, they have ended the program at the end of February and they didn't introduce anything else to provide additional relief for the American citizens. But New Jersey, if you are in a New Jersey household, yes, guys, they are working on a plan. They are trying to introduce this and get it approved by legislature to provide an additional $95, which would pretty much offset the emergency allotment that was provided on a federal level. So again, guys, hopefully we will continue to see different information in regards like this one in Washington, as well as New Jersey, because of the SNAP program is ending for the emergency allotments. Hopefully we will continue to see more states offering their own additional benefits to its SNAP recipients. And they can actually use some of that government money from the American Rescue Plan that they have to use up before the end of 2024. They could use some of that money to offset the additional money that they want to provide to the SNAP EBT recipients. But anyways, guys, like I said, this is some good information, but so far this hasn't been approved yet. But the good news is that they have actually introduced it and hopefully they can get some of this passed in these multiple states that that are ending the SNAP emergency allotments. But anyways, guys, hey, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Now, real quick, hey, I want to remind you guys about the Amazon Prime membership that you can get for totally free for 30 days, or you can actually receive a discount with it if you receive any type of government assistance, such as the WIC program, the TANF program, SNAP benefits, or, or anything like that. You are eligible to receive the discounted rate of just $6.99 per month, or if you are not sure whether it's beneficial to you or not, Try it out for free for 30 days, guys. It's on me. Thank you. You're welcome. Either way, the program definitely comes with a slew of other benefits that majority of people enjoy. If you are interested, hey, check out the links down below in the description and you can find everything right there. And also be mindful that uh, those particular links does support this channel, but it does come at a zero cost to you. So I would appreciate it. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free and if you like today's video then go ahead and hit the like button for us it really helps out this channel as well as it tells youtube to share this video with others but anyways guys hey i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and i hope to see you on the next video peace